Ah, welcome back, everyone, to another episode of The Legacy of the Vikings, where we play as Sweden. And in this world, guys, we're going to be doing a lot. So, I'm going to sum it up like this. We just declared war on Norway for the only sole reason of not really doing the actual war goal, which is the conquest of Halo... Halo Garland. Hello, Galand. That got butchered majorly, but we went to war for that, and yeah, it's gonna be a fun war. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, you guys, this is gonna be like a pushover war. We, I think, everyone at this point should know this is probably just gonna be a pushover war. I mean, you should also know that the only reason why we're doing this is not for really any particular reason other than I want to go take over the islands. Alright, like the whole sole reason why I'm doing this is so I can take over these islands right here. I need these islands right here, or at least this one right here. I need this one right here, Reykjavik, so then I can start colonizing the new world. Because then with new colonization, or maybe this island right here. Either way, I need one of these islands so I can start colonizing. Because I'm pretty bored. I'm pretty bored right now just like watching the game go by. And watching the other European powers go fat. While well, we just are the same. Okay, I'm gonna have to decrease the speed because my computer is actually running now. So that means I have to actually pay attention to everything. Okay, there we go. The soldiers should be able to land up on here. Okay, so let's see. Who joined in against me? Molster, Denmark, Norway. No one really important. If you are asking, if you are asking a royal marriage with England, no, I am not doing that. <laughs> I'm not stupid enough to get a royal marriage with England. Okay, so you guys are stupid enough to try to fight me. Go send troops. <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is really not going to be that hard. Just, I'm just going to crush this army right here. Once that army is dead, I'm not really going to deal with them. Scorch Earth costs 5 military seats. Why would I scorch my own land? I, spear, why would I even have the officers to scorch my own land? That seems like a terrible idea! Unless I was going to give away to Providence, so, you know, I wanted to give the people the worst possible rating ever, but, okay, there we go. Finally on a ship. Let's go. So, which islands do I want? Let's go get the big island first, because it'd be the easiest. So, yeah, once we get these two provinces, I'm basically going to declare peace. And, yeah, we're done. <laughs> I mean, I really don't, this isn't really, like I said, this isn't really a war that was really fought because I want more land of of uh Norway because really uh besides when I get to be Scandinavia and get all these like cores, I basically formed what I want from Scandinavia. And yeah. I mean I'll still go expand and go kill everything once I get those free causes bell eyes, but you know what I mean guys? It's just kinda like it, it's gonna be nice to have the land, but isn't gonna be required to have the land. That's what I mean. Okay. Good thing I got that out of the way. And Hansa had a religious civil disorder. Yeah, we're having the same thing. We're having the same problem right now too, Hansa. But also, I'd like to point this out in terms of religious. I've noticed this through the religious, and our king has kind of noticed this too. Our grateful king of King Carl X. Philippe Ribbing. The great name that you guys have. Okay. Oxford Gullin succeeds the Dunman. If we could, like. I don't know. If we could, like, just plant ourselves on this phone, that would be so nice. Anyways, I've noticed that the Protestants, I'm not sure, wait, what the heck is England, by the way? Are you guys Protestant, or are you guys Catholic? You guys are Catholic. Okay, so Protestantism is just really strong there. Okay, anyways, what I was going to say is that it seems like the German states have become, just like usual, have become very much a Protestant-believing people, which is helping us a lot with our spread of Protestantism, which we have to quickly do because... I really don't want to be, I really don't want to be Catholic anymore. Okay, so right now we have our ships taking nutrition damage, transport our troops, get them onto this island, I'm pretty sure, okay, so the Battle of Jitland, first major battle exchange, really nothing happened, go siege this guy's attacks, not really assuming anyone's going to really attack me, yeah, these guys aren't really going to attack me, let's, 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 
be more than fruitfully honest with this. They're not gonna attack me. I mean, my army's probably just gonna stay over here, just kinda like, yeah, stuff will happen over there in England or whatever country that is north of us. I'll call it, uh, Northern. Hmm. Dang. What's a good, disgraceful name for a country in Scandinavia? Ah, oh, gosh. I don't know enough Norwegian or enough. or enough, um, Swedish to tell that. Gotta, maybe I should ask some of my other viewers. Like, you guys know any good disgraceful names for sweet for like a country that's like for anything? I don't know. Like, I like how would you trash talk? What about trash talk? Would, like, seriously, how would trash talk be back in the day? Like, we'd just be like, yo, 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 uh, yo, king so big, he got, he got blisters. Yeah. He got blisters that moving out of town? I don't know. I don't know how to come up with good insults. That's not my field. <laughs> That's not where I exceed at, guys. Coming up with insults is something I do not focus on. So, missionaries, we don't have any any mission goals. Uh, become Perpetual, conquer Esperanza. I could probably do that. Okay, anything else? Probably no. <laughs> like, let's see. Objectives. Yeah, I could probably do that. I could not probably do anything else that Quest was asking me to do. I mean, the rest of it was just kind of like, yeah, no. Okay, so let's just go. Let's just go uh, blockade these guys. Like, we don't really need to do anything except blockade. I mean, we're not being attacked. They're not. Oh, man, gosh, I hate Norway. No way, because they always forget how to build like one troop. And that one troop's gonna annoy me for a long time, isn't it? gonna be like that hateful day. Alright, over here we're conquering back the only the island I want the most so that then colonization can start and then I can start like getting start naming everything. <laughs> this could stay this could actually stay Norwegian because Eric Ford is actually a Norwegian name. So I'll keep that I'll keep that since we originally discovered that. So yeah. Right, let's just keep let's just keep Denmark garbled in. Why am I losing? Oh yeah, because I don't have the war. We don't actually have the war goal right now. Okay, let's speed this up a little bit. We don't need to be we don't need to be sitting here as we used to. Oh my goodness, dang these guys called the bay quickly. Okay, okay, guys, I'm going to split you guys up. I'm gonna go send half of you guys to go kill that army. Now I want you guys to understand this. Do not fail me. That's the only thing I ask. Is do not fail me. Okay, they did not fail me, so I'm good. The Reykjavik siege is over with. Okay, you guys should be good. Okay, so let's go send you guys over here. Oh my goodness, I could probably, if I really want to, guys, I could probably also annex Denmark in this war. Just completely annex them. But I don't really want to. To be honest with you, I don't really want to. Okay, so yeah, we're just gonna siege two provinces at the same time. It's a smarter way to siege. I keep forgetting that. But this is a new game, and sieging like one province at a time, this is actually an ineffective way to siege. But then again, I also don't like the army ratio of this game. Okay, let's go kill these guys. We should be able to get there. Ah, oh, shoot. And where is that? Where's Tavland? Because I'm going to go send my troops over there to go kill them. Let's go see. Uh, fine province of what city is this? T A V A S T A V A Okay, right there. Tavlan. Oh, it's right in the middle of my empire. Okay. By the way, is this almost converted? Oh my god, so We've been spending so much money on this stupid conversion. This better happen here soon. Okay. Let me go send my troops over here to travel land. Not click on the event. Because this is a good trick for anyone who wants to get away with it, but you just do not click on the event, just wait a little bit, country at war, okay, that, that should be done over there too, um, just wait a little bit, and, okay, we're gonna have to wait a little, long time, the vault in St. James, you ungrateful people, yeah, you ungrateful, grateful civilians, uh, once I get this war over with... Ah, oh, dang it! Ah, oh, dang. Okay, so, well, 3,000 troops isn't really that much. Comparatively, I've had way worse rebellions. <laughs> like, to the point of where my entire empire has been ripped to shreds. 
So, a couple thousand bevels isn't gonna scare me. Uh, that's kind of scary. I'll go send two forces to go deal with it. So you guys go meet up in... What is it? Vilburg? To go save St. James! We have to save St. Jamesburg! I should've named it St. Jamesburg. Alright, Benef Benign Neglect. Local trade power- No, Benign Neglect is one of the most terrible things. We should never Benign Neglect any of our colonies. Alright, Exploration, Global Settler Increase. Uh, it's, I don't really want that, but I do want this extra colonist thing. Because I really, like I said, I really want to be one of the European powers that really specializes in the uh, trade center. So once, yeah, once I seeds down, okay, all you guys go out here, go kill them, these guys. There we go. Okay, now that that's done with, go back to this, and I'll just wait for all the land to be unseeded. Because it's... Let's see. Well, if they just give it to me now, I think I could probably accept it. Let's see. Select. I want this. I want this. Okay. Nope. They would not accept this. <laughs> just like all ask of all monster. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm definitely going to have to siege a little bit more than this to gain what I want. I think I'm going to have to siege to all the original province. And then they're going to give it to me. So, religious, civil, civil order in Brandenburg. All good stuff happening right now, people. All good stuff. So let's see, 15, 17. Oh, we finally gained control of what we want. I'm keeping, I'm keeping Denmark just basically tuned up to that little island. In fact, I don't really can. They're not really Denmark anymore. They're the island. They're the island inhabitants of. What's this province called? Oh, Borum. That's the name. The the people of Borum, this monster civil disorder. Wow, they are not having a good day. I mean, seriously. Our time... Oh my goodness. Wow. That's a good event right there! <laughs> like, seriously. You gain, like, glass ability for something that you don't even have to really pay for. That's good. That's really good. Alright. Let's see, now you guys, like... Molster's high. I may have to bring Molster down a little bit, but let's see. Now will you guys accept my war goals? Yes, you will. I also get my original province. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm an expansionist. Okay, actually, I do want something. Swedish vassal? No, you cannot accomplish that. Transfer trade power? No, I cannot accomplish that. Annual treaties. I'm just trying to see what else I can do. Okay. Rip off your treaty with Muscovy, because that one could potentially hurt me in you know? it. Vote cores on all my, at least on some of this stuff. Okay, there we go. Alright. Much gold as you can give me, baby. Okay, that much gold? Okay, let's go! Alright. Yes! Oh, fine. This is a great day, guys. This has been a great day. So now, with that awesome, awesome, uh, loan that we took out well not i would say the norwegians gave us a massive loan so it's now time to do what we've been wanting to do for a very very long time but first let me get all my people over here uh let me see these guys these guys are basically accepted cultures i just need to start doing some oh, dang, i can't do any force because wait how close am i to like religious uh let's see Power 300. I'm not. Uh, it's still gonna take us a really long time. I need to get rid of some of this over extension, so I'm gonna I'm gonna start pulling that as immediately as possible. Let's see. Is there any other over extension provinces I have? Yeah, I have to make sure. Yeah, we have little, very little over extension, so it shouldn't be that much bigger, big of a deal. Anyways, the thing though that we want to do, guys, it's finally here. Let's start doing this. Oh, don't you dare tell me I cannot call it that. I'm gonna be so mad if you guys tell me I cannot call it. I'm literally like right there. Okay. I mean, I've seen the Norwegians do it before, so I know there's a way you can do this. I think it will have to do with like building. Well, I have to actually build a port to go over here. Maybe is that what it does? A colonial range. Colony is too far away. Closest. Unblocked. Oh, I have to wait for a course. Okay, so I have to wait for a core to actually develop. So let's see. When's this core gonna go? Uh, April 1524. Really? Okay, 1524. By the way, do we have any more manpower? Boost that up. 
Uh, do we have any more? Ah, oh, shoot. Oops. <laughs> Whoops. That was kind of bad. But do we have any more mad power? Yes, I just averaged around my mad power. And I could now potentially go send in more troops. Okay, I'm going to break off you, dude. You will own an entire fleet. Not Karak, not Karak. I'm going to go send in a... Uh, huh? We could go send in a Garak, but that's not really what I want to go send in. Mm, you know what? I'm gonna build a special. I'm gonna build a special ship for him. He's gonna have a special bog all to himself, a special caravel all to himself. There we go. Let's go send these guys as ships, and let's just relax with now our new founding provinces in Sweden, in natural Sweden, that are going to take a really insanely long time to core. <laughs> okay, so let's just. Let's just breeze through this. I mean, I don't have much to really worry about for a really long time. I mean, most of these countries are not going to declare war on me. I know that for a fact. I'm probably one of the strongest people in this game. The only people that could fight me is Russia. Or Muscovy, as they are formerly known. But they're really Russia. Okay? We, we all know the technicalities, but they're basically Russia. And right now, that's why I always put a lot of troops right next to St. Petersburg. <laughs> uh, and those rebels died. And apparently I lost. Noble family request grant aid. Uh, what does this give me? Oh, yeah, I don't want to lose administration power. Spread of Protestantism. Thank you. Keep spreading Protestantism. I'm waiting for it to at least get to at least get to about 60 spread of Protestantism. Thank you guys. You guys are becoming great spreaders of the faith. Whatever you guys do, keep doing it. Because I love what you guys are doing. So let's see. How's my moral authority right now? 55%. We still have to get really low. Yeah, we're almost done with this province. It's going to be comp completed May 19th. It's almost there. After so long of having these stupid orthodox in my my stupid country, they are almost all gone. I'm going to be so happy of that. All right, so let's see. We have to build some stuff because that's what we do. Let's see. We should probably build some military. No, we don't really need to build military. Diplo. I don't... Hmm. Speaking of which, we should probably start improving some of our relations. Yeah, let's start improving some of our relations with some of the people right next to us. I think Pomerania might be a good ally, at least for now. And France? How are we doing with France? Ooh, we could become more buddy buddies with them. I mean, it would not be bad to have improved relationship with France. Okay, there we go. Alright, let's begin again. Oh yeah, I was supposed to be building stuff. Okay, let's see. Basic buildings, what I want. I think I'll get more churches now. Temples. Temples, I meant. Let's get more temples. Because it gives us more base tax, which, in our poor country, really, we need. We need more base tax. Okay. And so, I just heard a militaristic symbol. Let's see. Uh, a call to arms from my ally, Holdenstein. What, what happened? The nation of Holdenstein, your favorite ally, is in a conflict with a lot of other people. If we decline, we do this. Oh my goodness. Let's see. Is these all derps declared war. Yeah. This is this is against my like mortal enemy monster. So, you know, we, we could definitely do this. War exhaustion. Yeah, they're already war exhausted from fighting me. All right, let's do this. I'm now it's time to actually plan a real invasion of of these guys. All right. I still got my decent commander. Let's actually go get our troops actually on decent ships. And we're actually gonna go actually gonna go invade Ireland. Something it historically never happened, but oh wait, we have a little bit too many troops, don't we? Yeah, we have nine cogs. Okay. Simple solution to this, just build more cogs. I mean, they honestly are very inexpensive inexpensive and eh. I don't see any of this actually ever getting to you. Speaking of which, what are you guys even doing? Taking Stade. Menez, Tortuga. So let's see, who am I exactly at war with so I know? Okay, so there's this little ally over here that I'm at war with. I'm also at war with these guys over here. And then these guys are religious religious problems going all across everywhere. Oh, it's, I think England just converted back to Protestantism again. Good for you guys. Good for you. I'm going to soon be joining you guys. I just have to wait for my people to become a little bit more open to the idea. Okay. But anyway, so let's just... Let's just wait a little bit. Conversion successful. We have five... Yes! 
Oh yeah! Finally! Took us a long, long, long the reformation. They tell us now the Protestant Revolution is playing like wildfire across the several different uh, 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 Okay. Basically telling us that this is becoming really big, and if you don't, if you don't either conform to it or decide quickly that you don't want it, it's going to cost your nation a lot. That's basically what that what that event is telling you. Okay, just gonna wait for all my cogs to be built so I can load my good gigantic army, and then we're gonna go send it to Molster. I mean, they're not really going after Hodenstein right now, so I don't really have to worry about that. Probably go conquer all these little tiny guys too. Show Elaine. Thank you. Whatever that event was, that's great. Okay, we're almost done. There we go. Everyone, get into the massive fleet that I am building. Yes. All you, all you good explorers. Did I build the wrong thing? Hmm? Cogs. Oh, did all my cogs, like, die when I was out at sea? Shoot. Okay, you know what? Let's just... Yeah, I think maybe my cogs may have died when I was at sea. That kind of stinks. Okay. Let's go send an 8,000 army and go just... Let's go test the waters of how... Of how Ireland looks as an independent country. Oh, uh, or, you know... Let's see, who's the big war leader? Yeah, if we get out them, we're basically going to win, but... Yeah, we should probably... We should probably just start striking back at them, and... These guys are going to annoy the, the living... Luckily, oh, they're gone. Okay. Don't know the deal with that, but okay. Let's go. Let's go, men. Freedom and stuff like that. Let's go for the victory of Scotland. No. Scandinavia. Oh, my goodness. Wow, that gets really bad. Like, powerful nobles. Tax trade efficiency. I like the trade efficiency, but in more. All right, so do I want to attack these guys? They're not really a threat to me, but... Uh... Sure, I guess. I mean, attacking closer to the hole might be a little bit better. Spread across... Yes! Keep spreading, guys. That's all I ask you to do is just keep spreading. Just keep spreading. Just keep spreading. Just keep spreading. All right. And... We're gonna be slowly invading them. What I might go do is go pick up these... No, I need to keep these guys over here. That way my island doesn't revolt. Because I know it will want to. My island will definitely want to revolt. And that is not good. That is definitely not good. Alright, let me move in my troops over here. Move in. Get there. Get these guys over here. Come on. No. Get there. There we go. Alright. Now it's time to go send them to go... Uh, you can invest in a new technology. Let's get some stable forts. Uh, Gauchin infantry. Is that any better? No, I can't get them yet. Yeah, I can't get them yet. So, it doesn't really help me anything. But, let's go send these guys. Should I go send them an island? I'm, I'm really debating this. Should I go send them to island? You know, let's just, let's just go check out the Irish. Okay, I'm at least going to go check out the Irish. At the very least, I'm just going to go check them out. I don't have to do anything, but I at least have to go check them out. Okay, so let's go. Let's go see how this is. Let's go see. Let's go see how the Irish are. Where is it all? If it's over here? So I want to see how big... Four men? Are, are, are you kidding me? The mighty... They, they took over the entire island with four men. What? Okay. Get back in the Irish Sea, where we can actually be supported. Okay. Okay. Now, with all these men. What? Ah, uh, dang! I guess we can't. I guess we can't land on island because of some mythical sea or something. But, anyways, guys, that was the episode today. I want to thank you guys for watching. Hope you hope this has been exciting for you guys. I hope you guys will. I hope you can conquer Ireland. That's the only thing I gotta say. So, yeah. See you guys next time.